Welcome to Walker Reviews. My name is Troy. Today I'm unboxing the Huawei FreeBuds 3 Pro. These are the top tier earbuds from Huawei. In this video, I'm gonna unbox them. Then we'll run through the tech specs that you need to know about. Then we'll look at the software and then I'll give you my opinion on the noise canceling. We'll also do a mic test so you can hear what that sounds like. And I'll also share with you my first thoughts on the sound quality. But first things first, let's get a look at the new design. So as you can see from the image on the box, they look quite similar to the free buds we've seen before, but maybe with slightly more rounded sides here on the stems. You'll also notice the high-res audio badges here at the bottom. We have the classic high-res audio logo and also HNA, which I believe might be an Eastern version of the high-res audio certification. So there are in fact three colors of these earbuds available, the ceramic white, the green, and this one, the frost gray. The retail price on these here in the UK is $169.99 at launch, but you never know when these might go on sale. So I will have an affiliate link below this video if you wanna check out the latest prices. I am a fan of this kind of rounded design and I like that reflective panel here on the front with the Huawei logo. I do believe this shape will help it glide in and out of your pockets nice and easily without any resistance. And that bit of glass there in front of the logo is apparently nano glass and 32% more resistant to scratches than previous versions of the Huawei FreeBuds Pro. And the case is now 4.5% smaller than the FreeBuds Pro 2. What you see right here is actually the FreeBuds Pro 1. I didn't get to check out the two, unfortunately, but you can see the size difference here. It's a lot smaller. And Huawei says it's just over 5% lighter than the Huawei FreeBuds 2 Pro. And something that really bothered me about the FreeBuds Pro 1 was how difficult it was to take them out of the case. Let's see if that's the case here on this new version. So it's actually really nice and easy now. Considerably easier than before. Let me show you what I mean by that. This is the FreeBuds Pro 1. They were kind of locked in there <laughs> and there was nothing to grip onto. So you have to kind of wedge your thumb in here to kind of pry them out. It's really difficult. Yeah. So I'm glad they solved that problem. The total weight of the case with the buds inside is 50.3 grams and the earbuds themselves are 5.8 grams each. So the stems on the buds now have more rounded corners than previous versions of the earbuds. And the actual main part of the bud itself is very smooth, sleek, rounded, almost like a water droplet. You'll notice the little grill there on the back for the noise cancelling mics. There are in fact three noise cancelling mics on each bud, as well as a bone conduction mic for voice call pickup. Something I really like about these earbuds and actually using these earbuds is the pinch gestures and the swipe gestures that they have thanks to the addition of that stem. This is something you don't get on regular bud style earbuds. And if you've ever used AirPods Pro, it'll be very familiar to you. And there's even a little recessed area of the stem that makes it easier to find and easier to use. And the earbuds do have an IP54 dust and splash proof rating. So if you're going for a run in the rain or something like that, you'll be all right. And you'll notice the mesh that protects the drivers is pretty large and that's because the drivers are pretty large. They're called 11 millimeter ultra mag based drivers and these are actually combined with a planner diaphragm driver for the higher frequencies. So you do have dual drivers inside these earbuds which is quite rare. And it's because of this unique driver setup that these do have that high res audio certification. Most earbuds have a range of 20 to 20 kilohertz. These have a 14 to 48 kilohertz frequency response. And that is certainly impressive when it comes to earbuds. They also have wear detect sensors. So when you put them in your ears, they'll know they're in your ears. And when you take them out, they'll know they're out of your ears and switch off or go into hibernation. In the box is a USB-A to USB-C charging cable. If you're wondering about the battery life on these, it's up to 31 hours with ANC off six and a half hours in the earbuds. With ANC on, you're looking at around 22 hours and four and a half hours in the earbuds. These earbuds do come with four different size ear tips. So you've got extra small, 
Medium is already applied to the earbud straight away. You've got the small and the large here as well. And there is a Find My Fit feature within the app, which I'll show you in a moment. And as you can see on Huawei's website, they state that this is the double HD certified pair of earbuds. So they have L2HC 2.0 and Sony's LDAC for streaming high-res audio. And on the website, Huawei also emphasize the triple adaptive EQ. So not only will you get noise canceling that adapts on the fly, but you'll also get an EQ that adjusts to your ear canal, the sound around you, and actually what you're doing at the time. So if you're walking or running or something like that. So you can see on Huawei's website, they state that these earbuds are 2.5 times better than the previous version thanks to this VPU, the bone conduction mic. We're about to test out how good that is. And also you'll notice here, they state there's a multi-channel deep neural network, DNN algorithm to assist with this. And they also say the wind noise reduction when on voice calls is reduced by 80%. So we'll test that out now in the microphone test. Okay, so this is the microphone test right now. You're hearing voice call quality in a quiet room. Now you're gonna hear my voice with some background noise. Okay, so there's some pretty loud background noise just to the right hand side of me. It's a simulated road noise. So this is how it might sound if you're walking down the street. And now I'm gonna introduce some wind. Okay, so I've got wind blowing directly at my ears now whilst I'm talking with the road noise. This should be 80% better than the previous version. So it should be pretty damn good. Let me know what you think of these results in the comments below. Now let's move on to the ANC test. Okay, so when it comes to ANC, there has been improvements here on the FreeBuds 3 Pro. Intelligent ANC 3.0 is here. They say it's improved by 50%. So I'm gonna test this out now, and the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna play very loud sound to the right-hand side of me, simulating a road noise. I'm gonna turn the sound down gradually until I can't hear it anymore, and hopefully the mic in the studio will pick up that noise so you can get an idea of the amount of noise that you might be able to block out. It's not a scientific test, but uh, it'll give you an idea. And I do have this connected right now to the Huawei P60 Pro. And you can see actually in the noise cancelling section, you can adjust the amount of noise cancelling. So dynamic will adjust to the sound around you. Cozy is going to be a little less aggressive. General is for just general places, but then we've got ultra. So I'm going to set it to ultra for this test. Okay, so now I'm going to blast this road noise. Full volume. The ANC is on, I'm gonna to start to turn the volume down. Just about here, I'm struggling to hear it. And at this level, it's pretty much gone. I don't know if you guys can still hear it or not, but uh, it's pretty good, I think. When you take the earbuds out, you can tell how good it is. This is a good test for you to try at home as well with your earbuds. Point the mic towards the uh, computer. Okay, so now let me show you guys the app. And there are some differences here on the Huawei device in comparison to an iPhone or another Android device. But first of all, let's go through the things that are gonna be the same. So as soon as you boot up the app, you've got your battery life here on the case and also on the buzz. You can have a list of all of your connected devices and switch between them here. This does have multi-point pairing, so you can have two devices paired at the same time, but not if you're using high-res audio. If you scroll down, you see your noise cancelling modes. You've got on, off, and awareness. Awareness is the pass-through mode. In the noise cancelling mode, you've seen this already, there are various levels of noise cancelling that you can choose. And if you go across to awareness, there is the option to enable voice mode so this will allow more vocal frequencies through the awareness mode now this next section just below it the hd spatial audio is exclusive to the huawei devices this is where you can play back spatial audio 360 reality audio or immersive audio and it feels like the sound is all around you you can have it head tracked so when you move your head the sound is always coming towards you if you have it fixed and you turn your head, it's gonna to come towards you from the side. I have tested this and I have to say, I prefer the regular audio on these particular earbuds. It does sound good, but I feel like you get a cleaner sound with the regular audio on these. And then just below this, you have the sound effects. So these are basically 
EQs that are pre-programmed into the earbuds. You have some good ones here, and if you hit the plus at the top right corner, you can actually create your own EQ. And it's a 10 band equalizer as well, so you can get real creative with it and give it a name and all that good stuff. When you scroll down, you'll see sound quality. So here you can prioritize the connection over the sound quality or vice versa. The only time you'd really wanna do that is for watching movies. If you find you're getting lag on the movie or in games, you might wanna go connection first as a priority over the quality. Then you've got the gesture menu. And I really do like the gestures here. So you've got the pinch once, pinch twice, the triple pinch to go back. You've got the long pinch and hold, and you've also got the swipe gestures for volume. So it really works fantastic here. And you can go to either side and actually customize what the uh, pinch and hold does on the left bud and on the right bud. So you could set this up as a AI or something like that if you wanted to. Some of the other features on the app is the find the earphones. So that's where it'll actually show you on the map where they are. And you can also play sounds to them. This will use petal maps to show you where it is. You have to make sure you enable this in your device first. The ear tip test, this is where it plays sound to your ears to test the seal of the ear tip to make sure there's not too much leakage. And it will use the mic built in, one of the mics on the inside built in to measure that for you. So you can make sure you get the right silicon tip, which is very important if you didn't know. You got your update section, and then if you go into settings, here's a very important setting. I've got mine set to LDAC right now. Originally it was on L2HC, and when I switched it to LDAC, the quality improves. So L2HC is good, but I think LDAC is better. The only downside with LDAC is the range. So if I walked out of the room now and left this on the table, it would certainly cut out pretty quickly as soon as I walked out the door. So it's a shorter range, but the quality difference is noticeable on these earbuds. And here you can also disable the wear detect sensor. So that's when you take the earbuds out, they'll stop playing your music, put them back in and start playing your music. This saves power, so you really wouldn't want to switch that off, in my opinion, but it's entirely up to you. And then the dynamic latency mode here, if I did get up and walk out of the room, this would switch to one of the other default codecs like SBC or AAC to make sure the connection is still established, but you'll hear that kind of skipping in the music as it switches between the codecs. And there is some more unique features that you can get if you're in the Huawei Harmony OS ecosystem, stuff like the proximity pairing, that's where you pop the lid, automatically connects to your Huawei device that way, and also audio sharing. So if you're both watching something on a tablet or your phone, you can actually share the audio to two audio devices at the same time, that's pretty cool too. So you've already heard the voice pickup is good and the ANC is pretty damn good too. But most importantly, how good is the sound quality? Well, I'm gonna give you guys my first impressions of the sound quality on these earbuds whilst connected to a Huawei device with LDAC on. It's gonna boot up my classic headphones playlist. Let's test out the volume on this. More than enough. Have to scale it back a little bit. And I'm listening to these tracks on the default EQ. Fantastic details. Good soundstage for earbuds. And I do think the two separate drivers are really helping with that audio separation. Yeah, these are good. This track's in master quality. So that's the highest quality you can get through Tidal. It's really nice, fully female vocals with high pitches. It sounds pretty damn clean and great details there. And this is a great test for the high frequencies because sometimes these can get really sharp and this is just really nice, really nice. Great sound stage as well. You can feel the, the space in the audio. This is a bass one now. This is a bass heavy track. That separate driver for the mid to low frequencies is nice and that's without even turning the bass up. Master quality Post Malone track. This is another good test for bass. I just wanna see what the bass boost does. The amount of bass is very, very nice. Now in the EQ section, there is a live hi-fi EQ. Let's try this out for this one. I'm very impressed with these. These sound fantastic. A little bit of Bob Marley to finish this off. The clarity on the vocals is fantastic. And the noise cancel is good as well because I can barely hear myself speaking right now. My first impressions of the Free Buds 3 Pro from Huawei are they are very good. Definitely worth the asking price. 
the features that you get with a Huawei device do add to it. But even without that, if you're gonna be using them with another Android phone that has LDAC or L2 HC, the sound quality is fantastic, incredibly detailed. And I like the style of these as well. This futuristic style is very sleek, it's very modern. Definitely a fan of these. And this has just been a first look, first impressions. If you guys want a more in-depth review on these, let me know in the comments and I'll try and make it for you guys. I appreciate you guys for watching this one. See you in the next one. Don't be late.